What's up, Rage and Nation? My name is Alex, and you're watching the Rage and Rona Review. And in this episode, I want to talk about Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3 is directed by Shane Black, and it will be released next summer, summer 2013. And I just started a feeling like I want to talk about it just because I'm all hyped up about The Avengers, which comes out in uh, just a little bit uh, over two weeks from now. But um, the thing that I want to talk about is um, what are they going to do next in terms of these individual characters? Because we have Captain America 2 coming out, we have Thor 2 coming out, and of course Iron Man 3. And what I'm curious about is, is it going to be a continuation of the Avengers? Like, how are they going to uh, to to um, uh, move on with the, the the individual stories? Do they go their separate ways, or does it have nothing to do with the events of the Avengers? So that's something that I'm really curious about. But what I'm most curious about is actually the villain in Iron Man 3. The latest development actually was that they mentioned uh, Ben Kingsley is in final negotiations to play as the main villain in Iron Man 3. But um, a lot of people were speculating, could he be the Mandarin? Could he be playing the Mandarin, right? Because he was um, a pretty dominant villain in the, uh, the Iron Man comic books. Uh, but... I think that um, Kevin Feige, I think that's how you pronounce his name, uh, Kevin Feige, the producer of all these Marvel movies, mentioned that he's not playing Mandarin. And, um, well, he's not playing Mandarin. That's what he says. But uh, Ben Kingsley kind of has that look to play Mandarin. He could actually pull it off if uh, they were to have him play Mandarin. But Kevin Feige says he's not, so I guess he's not. However... Uh, you know, with all these uh, big fanboy franchises like Transformers and all these Marvel movies, um, they can do this misinformation campaign like Michael Bay did with Transformers just to throw the fans off and to tease us. That could very much happen. And I think that this may or may not be misinformation, but uh, there are some things that still lead or, or at least point my fingers towards having Ben Kingsley being Mandarin. And uh, well, let me, let, me, um, let me tell you about uh, the math that I've been putting together. Recently, they just announced that uh, DMG Entertainment, a, a, a production company or studio in China, will be co-producing slash co-financing the production of Iron Man 3. And what that really means is uh, several things. First of all, they'll be providing uh, uh, pro providing, providing uh, a, a, a bigger budget for, for Iron Man 3. So they're going to have a bigger production budget uh, because it's co-financed by this Chinese company. And also, it will have a wider distribution, like international distribution, because uh, China actually makes up a huge market of the box office take. So they're going to obviously make more money. And also... It means that the movie will be shot in China. And I'm just going to take a guess out there and say that the only reason why it is being shot in China is because, um, or rather, the only reason why the movie is being co-produced and co-financed by this Chinese company, DMG Entertainment, is because the, the story takes place in China. Well, isn't a, a, a Mandarin a, a villain of... Uh, like Asian descent or, or at least his background or origins has something to do with China. So that's where I'm, I'm, I'm pointing my fingers towards that the villain could be Mandarin. Now they've been saying that it's not going to be Van, Ma, Vandarin, Mandarin. Uh, they've been saying that it won't be Mandarin. But uh, like I said, it could be misinformation or Ben Kingsley might not be playing Mandarin right away. Like he could be... Uh, um, uh, um, I don't know, maybe Ben Kingsley isn't playing Mandarin, or maybe um, Mandarin is in it, but not played by Ben Kingsley. So, I don't know, it could be like a number of things, but I think that, I still think that uh, uh, Mandarin is still going to be in Iron Man 3. Um, you know, this is what we do, we're fans, we're, we're, we're doing what fans call uh, uh, fan speculation. And that's like a totally legitimate thing to do. And uh, you can totally say that I'm wrong, like, uh, or you can tell me that uh, you told me so, but even your guess in telling me that I'm wrong 
is still speculation because nothing is confirmed right now. So I'm going to go ahead and say and, and call it and say that uh, Mandarin is going to be in Iron Man 3 or at least he's the villain in Iron Man 3 just because I'm just putting everything together and it just feels right. Another thing is that uh, John Favreau put all these Easter eggs uh, about uh, Mandarin being in uh, possibly the next movie. Like uh, in the first and second movie, they talked about the, the, the rings and um, some other Easter eggs that point towards uh, Mandarin coming later in the, uh, the future installments of Iron Man, the franchise. So um, I, um, I think that if they ignored that, it'd be kind of just wasting John Favreau's storytelling or or just kind of slapping him in the face if they didn't uh, use Mandarin as the next villain. So that's why I think that Mandarin's going to be the, the villain in Iron Man 3. What do you guys think? Uh, obviously, we don't know. It's just speculation. I'm speculating right now. But what do you guys think? Why don't you let me know in the comments section below. Do you think the villain for Iron Man 3 is going to be Mandarin? Who else do you think it's going to be? Or who do you want it to be? Let me know. Um, I got to also mention that speaking of China, uh, the movie is actually going to be shot or post converted into 3D. China is apparently huge on 3D and that is after the success of Avatar. After the success of Avatar, the, China even renamed these mountain as like all these mountains in, 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 um, in China. They, they're renaming the Hallelujah Mountains because they look so much like those mountains in the uh, in, in the movie. So uh, China is really big on 3D right now. It's all because of Avatar. In fact, uh, Titanic 3D is selling out in China, and therefore they probably said that if you want this movie to be shot in China, we're we wouldn't want you guys to to make it in 3D just because that's what our market likes. So. Um, it's not going to affect the story, it's just going to affect your ticket price and viewing experience. Um, as long as they can do it right, I'm all for it. And um, another thing I want to talk about is that uh, with Iron Man 3 coming out next year and Avengers coming out this year, it's actually going to make Transformers, um, the fourth installment, come closer. Or f at least feel sooner because now we have like... Iron Man and then in, in the Avengers and then Iron Man 3 coming next year and then Transformers. Uh, you know coming the year after that so it, it's got something for us to look forward to every summer so that might make us feel that uh, Transformers 4 is actually closer to us than we think anyways uh, I don't want to go off topic but what do you guys think about this uh, let me know in the comment section below who do you think is going to be the villain also just to let you know Iron Man 3 will be shooting uh, in May in the US this summer like or this spring rather this May so that's next month and then it'll be shooting in China in late summer so uh, that is actually pretty close like uh, Tony Stark or Robert Downey Jr. rather is working as Iron Man or, or he's gonna play the role of Iron Man uh, right after he just finished playing that same character in the Avengers so he's a really busy guy and I'm happy that he's making this just because I, I love that character Tony Stark uh, can be only done justice by Robert Downey Jr. he does it so well I mean in fact he is Tony Stark so I'm happy to see this coming anyways uh, that's all I have to say in this video if you enjoyed this video show me some support by clicking that like button subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Facebook and Twitter, The Raging Nation. My name is Alex Steven. and thanks for watching this episode of The Raging Runner Review. I'll see you next time. Peace. $3 million for The Hunger Games, and after seeing the financial success of how The Hunger Games is doing at 